Okay, this is section 3.3, Open Stacks Calculus Volume 1, Problem 143. We're trying to find a quadratic polynomial such that f of 1 is 5, f prime of 1 equals 3, and f double prime of 1 is negative 6. And so let's start by writing down what a quadratic looks like in general form. I'm going to write f of x equals a x squared plus bx plus c. Okay, um, that came out a little funny looking for some reason. All right, then I could go ahead and plug in x equals one to this. Um, yeah, maybe I'll do that right now. Put little dots here. Oh, maybe, I, I don't know what. Uh, I sort of sometimes don't think it's good to just put arrows arbitrarily without meaning. So anyway, maybe I won't even put an arrow, but what I'm going to do is I am going to plug in um, x equals one. So let me go ahead and do that. So, so I'll put in x equals one. And so I get five equals f of one, which is given right here that five is equal to f of one. And then that will therefore equal a times one squared plus b times one plus C. So if I just simplify this, I get A times one squared is A, B times one is B, and then I have C and that equals five. So the result is I get a, you know, I get a relationship between A, B, and C. A plus B plus C equals five. Well, you know, there's an infinite number of solutions to that, so let's continue. Let's go ahead and take another derivative or take a derivative here f prime of x of this general form here is 2ax plus b. I use the power rule there. And again, I'm going to put in x equals one. In fact, this whole part right here is put in x equals one. All, all of this, this, you know, this little side thing is putting in x equals one. Okay, so I don't know. If, wow, I'm getting too much with these lines. Okay, so if I put in x equals one, then I'm going to get this time three equals f prime of one. Where's that coming from? That is um, over here. Three equals f prime of one. And so, but putting in one gives two a times one plus b. And then that will simplify to two a plus b equals three. So what I have here is I have two equations. I have this a plus b plus c equals five. And then I have another equation, which is two a plus b equals three. So I have two equations. That's not enough to solve. Uh, for A, B, and C because I have three unknowns and I only have two equations. So let's go ahead and take one more derivative and we get F double prime of X equals 2A. And then again, plugging in, I get negative six equals F double prime of one. So I plug in one. So where, I'm get, where am I getting that from? From right there. Okay. F double prime of one equals negative six. And so that means, uh, you know, plugging in one is just, there's nothing to plug in. So it's just F double prime of X is two A. So two A equals negative six. And that gives another equation. So I have these three equations with these three unknowns. 
Now, what I can immediately do from these equations is, as you can see, is um, right away, what's a good highlight color, but anyway, right away, I can solve for A. Right away, I can solve for A. So I get, okay, so we can solve for A. Two A is equal to negative six. So what I'm using is, you know, those three, let me have to write that. So A is negative three. Okay, so I get A is negative three. And that already gives me an update for my quadratic function. Our quadratic function is ax squared plus bx plus c. I now know that a is negative three. So I got one part of it. Okay, and now use the double star to find b. Okay, so double star gives 2a plus b equals three. Okay, so you know I have that equation. It's in green, it's marked double star. 2a plus b equals three. I put in a is negative three. And I hope I'm not making a mistake. I did this problem before and I made some silly mistake or something. So um, see I'm making a mistake, please speak up. So uh, there we go. Looks like I got that. And then we're going to find C using the triple star, which is triple star was A plus B plus C equals five. Okay, so how am I going to do that? Well, I have A is okay. So you see that was that was if you wanted I want to do a little um, you know like little little snail tracks. Um, so you see where this is coming from? This 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 guy right here, A plus B. I'm just I'm just using that. That's where that that was, and then snail tracks from two A plus that was. That's over here. Okay, so that's all that's going on there. Okay, so uh, A plus B plus C equals five, and so that makes negative three, so I already found A is negative three, plus B, that's nine, plus C equals five, so six plus C equals five, so C equals negative one. I, I feel like I'm not getting the right answer. I feel like Somehow I'm not doing this right. No, oh, that's what I got. Oh, okay, good. All right, I don't know. I just, because I'm making the whole video, I don't want to get the whole thing wrong. That's been all this trouble. Otherwise, I just don't care that much. <laughs> so anyway, so we have, okay, so put into, right, so, so, see. So put A equals, negative three, B equals nine, C equals negative one. Into our function, F of X equals A X squared plus B X plus C. And so this gives F of X equals negative three X squared plus nine X minus one. And that's the Final answer. Okay, and, and then you can also, you know, you can also go back and check each of those three equations, star, double star, and triple star, to make sure that the values of A, B, and C work. Um, it's, it's, it's pretty easy just to do that. Um, in, in what, you know, in, your, in my head, I can do that pretty easily, but. Okay, so uh, are, are there any questions then about that? Anything on there? No. 
Okay, so let's end the video.